Hello and welcome to a quick video on the updates for the JDAMs for the Harrier. So the guys have been working really hard on the coding for us to able to be able to use the F10 menu in order to assign targets for our JDAMs. Now, at the moment, the way you would do that is you would manually put them in by using the marker system. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you go about inputting and uploading that data to your Harrier and thus setting them as targets for your aircraft. At the moment, you can designate up to 18 targets for your Harrier with the ability to launch bombs at four targets um, either simultaneously or together or individually or however you want. But you can only ascertain, you can only designate four targets. So let's say you have 18 targets, you can do four, then another four, then another four, and so on. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to the F10 menu. And as you can see here, what I've done is I've just added some tigers into the uh, the X range. What I'm going to do is I'm going to designate using a blank marker the area of interest. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to allocate each target by simply uh, labeling them as TO1. It has to be this way, by the way, so you can't change it to anything else for the time being. TO2, TO3, we'll just do a couple more. We'll do TO4, and then let's just designate this building as, say, TO5, and then this bad boy here is TO6. So what I've done is I've used the F10 menu to assign a designation area, an area of interest, and then I've allocated, I've designated uh, six targets um, which I want to destroy. Very probably focusing on, I'm going to focus on one, two, three, and four just for the time being. These are just to show you the uh, the population on the aircraft. So if I now go back to the aeroplane, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the menu and I'm going to go to the cast page. Using right alt right shift and F8, which just for a note is in the um, uh, knee board, and again you can assign this to a button on your HOTAS should you want to. What it does is it pulls all the data for the targets and, uh, into the aircraft, and if I click on the recall button, you can see that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now these correlate. To the markers that I allocated for here. So this is one, which is this one here. Six will be number six on here, and so on. And again, you can move from one to the other. So let's say these are my targets, um, and I've been informed by my uh, human uh, ground controller that I need to allocate target one, two, three, four as my targets of uh, priority. What I can do is I can now push these into the aircraft. So if I leave it on one and I go back to the cast page, I can say I want to use this as my target for number one. Now specifies it's active. I go back to the recall, you can now see that it's designated as target one. If I now go to, um, let's go to number five actually and say that's now target two. Uh, let's say it's just been changed, whatever. I can then go to use and I can specify that as target two. We're now active. And I can go to the recall page, you can now see that's target two. I can designate number three as target three. We're now active. And then last but not least, let's do number two as number four. So you come back, click the use button, designate four, it's now active. You can now see that I've got one, two, three, four as my target priority. And now let's say, again, the range is down there. I want to um, fly in and I want to uh, destroy those three, four, four targets. I then go to the storage page and select my uh, JDAMs. Always leave it in auto. Specify your fusing. Pick your air to ground mode. And uh, go into um, to your master arm. What I can do is I can come up here and I can click targets. 
and I can specify which targets I would like to destroy. You'll notice the symbology on the HUD changes, which we'll cover in the next video. Now here, what I can do is I can say I either want to just destroy target one on this pass. Again, I can just designate target one, or select target one, should I say. Or let's say I want to destroy all four targets. Again, I'm holding the pickle button along uh, when the queue tells me to do so. What it would do in this instance, it will release four bombs, one after each other, in a one second gap. Well, alternatively, what I can do is I can say I just want to designate target two and three. And again, it will only go for targets two and three. Now again, like I said, you can add to this. So let's say, for instance, that we've just been informed that there's more targets. And we want to designate one of these little fuel tanks as target seven. We'll do, oh, we'll do this one as target 08. Go back to the aircraft, to the cast page, right alt eight. So right alt right shift eight. Back into the recall. And now we've got two extra targets. So you can add to these and you will be able to delete and change designations as you see fit. What you could also do, again, because the T1s represent the weapons that you're releasing. So what we can do is we can change this and forget the T4 for a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm, I've just been told that T3 is quite a big target and it actually needs two bombs to destroy it. I can come in here, go back to the cast page. And I can sign that to number four. And now what it's going to do is it's going to release one on target one, two, bomb two on target two, and three and four on said aircraft. That said target. Let's say I just want to destroy that target now. I'm just firing on three and four. So you're going to be able to play around with it, uh, not too, uh, too long hopefully, but I'm going to share more videos on how to utilise this weapon system. The next video will be a full in-depth on um, the, again, allocating the targets, uploading the target package, selecting the weapons, releasing the weapons, and again I'll be sharing uh, some, some cool little specs and um, some, some more in-depth information from, uh, from, from us to you, but in short that's just how you enter the uh, the coordinates so i hope you guys enjoyed this video again i'm excited to share these with you and there's going to be a few more other things that we're going to be sharing soon as well but let's get the uh, the weapons to the release stage and then we can share another video with you so i will catch you guys on the next video